Okay, so there's some questions about two-pack tablet weaving. So this is how I do it. Uh, for this, my borders are all going forward. So I start with my full deck. I'm going to push my border cards forward. Yeah. The next three come backward on my pattern. I'm just looking at my pattern during this. One, next three go forward. Next one goes backward. Yeah. Two go forward. One go backward. Mm -hmm. Two go forward. Go back. Six come backward, one forward, three backward, and my other two borders go forward. <laughs> and there's a peanut gallery. Um, so I don't pull them fully separate because for me they're easier to turn this way. So same time now, turning them back. Sorry, the backpack backwards, the front pack forwards. Mm -hmm. Slide it all back together. Hey, hey, sorry, peanut gallery. This is this is mom life, y'all. Move my pattern up a row, and then I'm doing the same thing. My border parts stay forward. One card comes back. Three go forward. One comes back. Two go forward. One comes back. Five. Go forward, one back, one forward, mm -mm, two, no. three back, that's and then these three go forward. Side. Same thing again. Backwards, forwards. Okay. Slide everything back together into one pack. Um, I don't always slide everything back together if there are some cards that stay, but this particular pattern, things yeah, change mommy. just about every single row. So it's been easier to just reset back to one pack, separate them again. One pack, separate them again. So, yay! Hi, people! Whoa, there's a lot of you. Um, hi, people! Elric says hi. <laughs> so that is a hi, quickie two-pack. I will probably stop hi, this people. so it can go... Hey! I will stop this so it can go um, on Facebook Feel free to ask questions. I can try to help. Uh -huh. um, the pattern I'm working on is Ellison Hoff E417. It's a interesting pattern because the green threads, <laughs> the yellow threads are wool, so they move just a little bit differently and they stretch just a little bit differently. So, yay! That's two pack weaving. If these are useful, I can make more. Woohoo! Yes, I can. This is so Chris, I'm doing a short warp on this time. So oh, this I is know. a this is Eggle's mm -hmm. loom. Um because I didn't actually want a very long piece of trim. This is just gonna be for the top of a bag. I just have one big <laughs> circle. So I have half a dozen different warp paths. <laughs> yes, Juliana, I can do that too. Yay! Thank you guys for watching and I can keep making more if it's useful.